In this video we're going to be looking at Windows fundamentals for legacy PCs. This was used primarily by businesses when they needed to switch from 9x to XP but they couldn't afford the hardware upgrade. So this video looks at this piece of software and shows you how light XP really can be while still being fully functional. It's pretty interesting to watch this so please enjoy the video. Now initially this looks like the Windows 9X setup process but don't be fooled it's not. Although it looks like it, it's actually image based like Windows Vista, it's not even like the XP install. So after we enter the serial number we've got the locale selection as always. Same usual stuff. Now here, this is interesting, we've got minimal, typical, full or custom. We're going to choose custom. Now there's some things to choose from, it's not a lot and we'll uncheck IE. We'll use partition 1. As you can see this is a lot like Vista, obviously without the pretty icons. Similar set setup process. Next. We'll call it disk perform a quick format next tech snap right the passwords interesting if I type in tech snap it's gonna say you must enter a strong password the strong password must be at least six letters long and contain characters from at least three of the following four cases uppercase lowercase digit and symbol also it cannot contain your full name or username so we can't use TechSnap as a password, we couldn't use it anyway even if it wasn't the name of the system. For the case of this video we'll use YouTube hash 100. It's accepting that. We've got the basic network settings, we'll leave them all default. We'll leave that default. Right, it's going to install now. This is going to take a while, so I'll pause the video at this point and I'll see you when it's installed. It's installed now. The login screen was exactly the same as Windows XP running in classic mode, but it said Windows Fundamentals, not Windows XP. Also, on the user control panel, it uses this one, not the classic one, interestingly, and you can turn on the welcome screen. I've installed Opera and VLC and also IE isn't there at all. I know I unchecked it but it didn't just remove the shortcuts, it removed the whole of IE. Look, there's nothing there. The Windows folder is the smallest Windows folder I've ever seen. The install size is 776 megabytes which is really small for XP and I've got the programs installed. Now this is why IE really isn't installed, see? There's Opera there's VLC now I've got the system installed with 512 meg of RAM that is more than what we need for this system I'm gonna drop this figure to 128 meg of RAM and see if it still runs snappy right I've dropped it to 128 meg of RAM now it's just starting up There's no sound scheme on this by the way. And as you can see, because there's no extra stupid services running, it's still running quite snappily. There's Opera already. VLC. Now stuff's taking a little bit longer, but come on, it's running on 1 to 8 meg of RAM. That's not much at all. Take a look at services.msc. There's still quite a few on automatic. We could cut this down and it could be even lighter. So it's fast enough as it is now with this little RAM. So it would be really interesting to see what it would be like otherwise, wouldn't it? If we cut, cut these down. I'm not going to because you won't notice it on the video. But 
but yeah it works pretty much perfectly for what you'd expect I haven't tried every application on it obviously but it's a very light version of Windows indeed and it's, it was a brilliant idea for businesses who can't afford to upgrade hardware this is a brilliant thing that they've done here I like the way that everything's just running so well even considering the fact that it's running on 128 mega of RAM still our only slowness here is this stupid source forge I like source forge okay it's just it's slow sometimes I don't know what it uses to determine what mirror to use but if it just picked the UK mirror service for me every time it would be great as you can see here just trying out pigeon so we have a chat client well that's installing ok so far remember on 128 mega ram also we'll install 7zip so we can extract all our RAS and stuff this is a 32 bit system by the way just like XP as you would imagine since it's for old computers anyway got two installers running, one to eight mega RAM everything's running fine and dandy to eight mega RAM see oh pigeon is open it's down there yep there it is of course as I say it's running a little bit slower than it would but it's one to eight mega of RAM it's very hard to get an operating system to run like this in one to eight mega of RAM now and this is a cut down version of XP which apparently runs everything that XP does so everything should be good to go here but yeah it's an interesting version of Windows it's not one that you can go out and buy in a shop but it was good for businesses who had older computers definitely without a doubt I'll see you in the next video